Today we're gonna to talk about the simple steps you need to take to keep yourself safe while grocery shopping. Be sure to stick around to the end to see a really easy way to keep your groceries safe. Clean Freaks, German Phobes, and everybody in between. My name is Diana and I'm a physician assistant. And today I'm gonna to talk about how you can stay safe while you're grocery shopping. I'm gonna use a word a lot called cross-contamination. And we're gonna get exactly into what that means here in a minute. But first, if you're new to our channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I really appreciate it because it helps us out. So let's get started. First, we will talk about the way that you're getting your groceries. If you're like a lot of people, you're just getting your groceries delivered. Now your delivery driver still needs to take precautions to make sure your groceries stay safe. And don't assume Amazon or any other delivery service is any cleaner than your grocery store. But the nice thing about delivery though, is that you don't have to go out yourself. USA Today recently ran a story about how grocery store employees are getting COVID-19 at work. And Amazon has had cases in their warehouse as well. So taking some precautions is probably a smart thing. I'm gonna mention some services that do a great job and you will find the links for those services in our video description down below. Amazon Fresh, Amazon Prime Now, Fresh Direct, Instacart and Script, and Shipped are all provide great services and you can call your local grocery store to see what programs they offer as well. Shift will even let you do grocery shopping at Target. So while all these companies request that their employees stay home when they're sick, they're still human, they still have to pay bills and without paid sick leave, they may try to you know push through when they really should stay home. So let's talk about the ways we can make our grocery deliveries safer. thing is to have no direct handoff. Arrange for items to be put on your doorstep or in a safe place. You can even have them placed in your garage if you keep it open for your delivery person. Also, do not have the delivery person bring the groceries into your home. That's just an unnecessary risk. Now, the most important part is tip electronically. The nice thing about having an app to order is that we can pay online and we can tip online. Money's tight, I know it, it's tight for everybody, but remember the delivery person has a family too. The second option is curbside pickup. The steps are basically the same as the other option. You want to maintain a six foot distance and wear a cloth mask. Preferably have them put the groceries in the truck or the back part of the vehicle, or even better, just have them leave them and then you can put them in yourself. If you're going to tip, again, do it electronically. Option number three, is if you have to go to the grocery store and do your own shopping. Don't bring the family, just go by yourself. And don't go if you have symptoms of shortness of breath, cough, fever, or anything like that. It's very important to not go shopping if you're showing any symptoms of COVID-19. Or if you think you've been exposed to the virus, remember a key way to prevent the spread is to wear a face mask. And the CDC has asked everyone to wear a face mask if you're in public right now. So if you don't have a face mask, you can wear a bandana or a scarf. We'll put a card above about the three different patterns the CDC has recommended for face mask. Then be sure to disinfect the shopping cart. Use the disinfecting wipes if they're available. The other thing you want to do is stay six feet away from everyone. Go shopping when it's not busy if you can. If you look on Google and type in the store's name, they will give you the time when foot traffic is the most busy. Try not to go during that time. Don't touch your mouth or your eyes or your nose when you're shopping. Take hand sanitizer with you if you have it and use it to wipe your hands after you shop. You can use a debit card or a credit card, but if you can, use your virtual payment system like Google Pay or Apple Pay or whatever you have so that you don't have to touch or open your wallet at all. When you get home, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Now that we have our groceries home, what do we do with it? This is where you wanna prepare a surface to put your groceries on. You take your groceries out of the bags and put them on the table. So what I've done here is I've put some tape right in the middle of my counter, which kind of divides the counter in half between contaminated and not contaminated or clean. And what we don't want to do is cross contaminate, which means get things that are germy onto our clean side. So what you want to do is you take your groceries out of the bag and put them on the counter that uh, is kind of the dirty counter. And then you can take down any products that are wipeable um, and wipe them down with disinfectant wipes.
and then put them on the clean side. Now, if you don't have disinfectant wipes, we actually did a video on how to make your own disinfectant wipes and we'll put a link to that in the video description down below. We're gonna take all the produce and put it in the sink and wash it. Now, I just wanna point out that I would never put my produce in a dirty sink. Be sure to properly clean and disinfect it before you put your fruits and vegetables in your sink. rubbing the fruit and vegetables under water and scrubbing those with hard skins that we can help remove not only viruses, but also pesticides. Remember to remove all the delivery bags and dispose of them in your outside garbage if you can. And if you use reusable bags, make sure to wash them and it never hurts to use a little bleach when you wash them if they're color safe. Then wash your hands with soap and water. Then you wanna clean your sorting surface with Clorox wipes and then wash your hands again. Now the other way to handle your groceries is to prepare an area in your basement or garage or closet and you put all your non-perishables in this space and leave it alone for three days. Basically, you're quarantining them. Information on WebMD says that COVID can live on plastic packaging like milk containers and detergent bottles for two to three days. Stainless steel, so like refrigerators and pots and pans, sink and some water bottles for two to three days. For cardboard, like shipping boxes, up to 24 hours. And for paper, the length of time varies. Some strains of coronavirus live for only a few minutes on paper, while others live for up to five days. After you place this on the table or your safe place, throw away all the bags that they were delivered in. Best to put them in an outside garbage container like I mentioned before. Then come back and put them away when it's safe. If there are perishables or fruits and vegetables, do what we did with the other groceries to prepare them to be put away. Make sure no kids or pets can get to your safe storage space and make sure that the space is climate controlled so you don't wanna be leaving it in a hot or cold garage. So that's it. That's how you keep your family safe and keep feeding them at the same time. We have one more tip for you, but first, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell and please share this with your friends. We all need to do our part to pull together in times like these. And every time you ring that bell, not only does an angel get its wings, but you also help us out. So here's your bonus tip, and it works for the mail also. Be sure that after you collect your mail from the post office or your home mailbox, put it somewhere safe that you can wash down afterwards. Then wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, like I mentioned before, or use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Thanks for supporting our channel. Have a good day.